Hello, I'm Wally Taylor. I'm an environmental medical physician for Forum Health. And I have a couple of points I'd like to present today that may be interrelated and I think they're of importance to people regarding what I see in my everyday practice here in Austin, Texas of people that are chronically ill as a result of exposure to a wide variety of environmental toxins. But today I wanted to talk briefly about a couple of things that have come across my desk recently. Uh, one of them regards what they are calling microwave syndrome. We actually know this more as EMF hypersensitivity or people that are especially sensitive to various forms of electromagnetic radiation. The reference that I'm referring to was an, an article in the Epoch Times from recently from Marina Zhang and she reports how much co more common it is now for people to be afflicted with some unusual symptoms as a result of ongoing exposure to toxic levels of microwaves, such as the 5G microwave to towers that are becoming so common in our, uh, in our world today. But symptoms like headache, dizziness, buzzing in the head, malaise, and, and many others have, have now been directly associated with this. So in my perspective, uh, it's only one of many toxins that affects people with chronic illness, but clearly one of the first things that I emphasize is avoidance of exposure as being important to reversing the symptoms. I also talk to people about the role of oxidative stress because we now know that the main mechanism of action of these damaging microwaves is that they increase the body's oxidative stress and if we can increase the body's antioxidant capacity, that's one good way that we can reverse that. I talk a lot in my practice about the role of a nutrient called glutathione, which is extremely important uh, as our body's number one antioxidant and a good way to reduce oxidative stress. Dovetailing off of this report on microwave syndrome, I also came across a really useful report that was just published on the CDC uh, website, cdc.org, uh, just in July of this year. Uh, I came across this from Dr. Or from Robert Kennedy Jr.'s uh, Twitter feed, and he was quoting uh, a report from an organization supporting aut the autism community called selfminds.org. But uh, you can look up the details of this report which is titled The Diagnosed Developmental Disabilities in Children Aged 3 to 17 Years in the United States from 2019 to 2021. But the bottom line here on this report is that the incidence, especially in boys more than girls, of intellectual disability and features of the autism spectrum disorder are significantly on the rise. In fact, it was reported that more than one in 10 boys now have the uh, diagnosis of these conditions. You know, when I went to medical school, and I hate to say how long it's been, uh, we were taught that we would see probably one in 10,000 uh, children that were affected with autism spectrum disorder. And just progressively over the years that I've been in environmental medicine practice, we've seen a steady increase in this uh, percentage of those afflicted from one in 10,000 to now more than one in 10. And again, there's multiple factors, microwave exposure being just one of them, certainly many other chemicals in our environment uh, and other, other different threats that we're exposed to, not even the least of which is just plain old stress or emotional toxic life experiences because of our high paced lifestyle. Uh, again, um, antioxidant capacity is one of the main uh, mainstays of treatment for these individuals, as is avoidance of any of the toxic exposures. So I'm available in my practice to consult with people that have chronic symptoms of unexplained illness that often tracks back to a wide variety of cumulative toxin exposures um, and would certainly like to have the opportunity to help you or anyone in your circle to uh, learn more about the causes of their illness in order to uh, restore complete health.